Hi. Hello everyone and Assalamualaikum. My name Azrin. I'm lecturer or architecture rhetorician from Faculty of Architecture and Built Environment, Infrastructure University, Kuala Lumpur. And now you are watching what it takes to be an architect. Okay guys, before that, you might be thinking about studies architecture. Good on you because it's a lot of fun and it's not like any other diploma, degree and career path. It makes creativity, business, personal relations and the whole of other things which make architecture so much different than everything else. Hmm, let's see. Between um, architecture students and professional practice, yeah? Uh, or I can say that prof architecture student versus uh, professional architecture. When you become a practicing architect, um, things get a bit different, which is like you may not get as much time as like when you were a student. I can say that 20% of the time to get you to do design, once a building hits the ground, you need to preparing construction document, managing constructions, and presenting to others, consultant, such as um, engineer, authority, or sometimes to do certain NGOs if it is involved, um, heritage, or maybe environment. So, uh, some people asking me how to thrive in the field of architecture. Yeah, The most important things in the field of architecture is what is the visions of the city as well as the building that is going to be in the city. In order to do that, uh, you need to looking or it's actually looking at the people and how the evolution of the society from one time yeah, to another time period and we believe where the architect or the student will involve in the real life situations. For instance, um, architect uh, don't just design for rich in terms of all this, like you know, condominium or bungalow, but they also have to figure out what's going to happen with some of the place that was involved the heritage identity, yeah, of the country in relation to the city, because the city is not just a nice uh, or beautiful building, but it's also part of social spiritual contractions uh, construct of the nations so my uh, student always asking me how do i equip myself as an architect student sir well uh, the first thing is about reading yeah the traditional form of gathering knowledge and many architecture students fail to appreciate that they just thinking about making model yeah and drawing beautiful building and copying others that's wrong. It's totally wrong. You need to read about the philosophy and how the social society is going to change. If not, how you are going to have your own visions of the cities, guys. Understanding of architectural history is important in um, architecture practice or architecture studies. Um, it's actually uh, a study of its forms, purposes, and most importantly, its evolutions. Uh, fortunately, Asian architecture can easily be observed and recorded. Studying architectural histories enables uh, us to understand the society and culture they represent, which is very useful when working as a contemporary architect. Secondly, you need to have experience because uh, there are something that you cannot get from books or internet yeah and so in our UK area, in our university we encourage the students go out into another culture uh, another society and experience not only the values the culture and finally because you're at the university there's a lots of activity something like um, forums you know you got talks uh, you have seminars you should participate in all of them, not only on architecture. Um, this picture is actually showing a sketches, yeah, uh, a sketches that can be made in any drawing medium. Yeah, the term is most often applied to graphic work. Normally, we use a pencil, yeah, and then meaning that before students they're starting to use any medium like 
pen or colors they need to use a pencil first and then uh, it's a tools that have the perception of process and then it gives some ability to see and objects is it a uh, perfect i know when you use pencil sketches the architecture student also will learn about colors yeah because the colors is very important uh, when you do a design or drawing yeah because the color gives some uh, like uh, beauty and harmony and then it's very important for uh, architecture because the colors plays a significant role in the perceptions of a space in the human mind you know when you use light shades or use it make a space appear bigger on the other hand using darker shades make the same space look smaller so the color is very important for architecture so i keep reminding my students yeah to join the faculty activity and join the university activity or join other faculty activity such as social science and engineering to experience all of these things for your information every year yeah almost every year our faculty of architecture and built environment iukl involves in doing some like uh, competitions a mini workshop yeah talks seminars sports and study trip but the most huge and amazing event is the 31st architecture students workshop and build environment infrastructures exposition or we call a nyala uh, 2019 which is support by uh, pertubuhan architect malaysia or pam and being participated by 762 delegates from 24 highest learning institutions from malaysia uh, indonesia philippines and also singapore so what I can say here, in one sense, we can see architect on the one hand, it's a philosophy, as well as another hand, it's about managing. So philosophy is about having the vision of how society will evolve and managing uh, is about how to make that into a concrete manifestation. So an architect is actually a fusion between philosopher and a manager. Okay, guys, uh, there are uh, questions to me. Yeah? Mostly, this question come from parents and uh, students that just finished their school. They're asking that, uh, do I need to be a good, you know, do I need to be good at drawing to study architecture? Okay, guys, um, you know you might not be a great artist, yeah, or maybe the other side, but drawing and artwork is your strength, and this is something that you want to use in everyday life. Later on in your career, or it doesn't matter where you at with your drawing skill, because I will confirm to you what do you need to be good in drawing to study architecture. So, the answer do you really need to be good in drawings to study architecture and no no you don't need to be good at drawing to study architecture guys however especially in the first year yeah drawing is a main focus and it includes sketching and drafting it's not just one kind of style of drawing so the idea is that you don't have to be good at drawing before study architecture but being creative and good at drawing is the only yeah it's a good in drawing okay well I can say it's only go going to help you by giving you an advantage if you are not creative or artistic or good at drawing don't fret don't worry the idea behind architecture school is that you learn the necessary skills you need to be an architect along the way okay uh, this picture showing our uh, study trip yeah uh, it's actually uh, this uh, trip involved in um, our one of our subjects in um, degree in architecture. Yeah, um, the name of this uh, subject is Architecture Appreciation Two, which is our trip to Bangkok uh, in 2016. So the purpose of this uh, subject is actually to bring students out from the class and then uh, to study and to do some research about the culture yeah the people the architecture style itself in uh, thailand so um, i think students they are very happy because of course because it's a trip and uh, 
they also love to see there are totally different culture you know uh, from malaysia and thailand and then um, it's very um, nice to see uh, the what we call that the environment yeah the surrounding of the, in bangkok so it's a good trip actually yeah uh, another picture here showing um study trip also uh, to indonesia yeah uh, same subject which is architecture appreciation to our trip on 2017 which is in padang uh, indonesia so it's actually there are two places that when we reach to padang uh, it's actually bukit tinggi and padang indonesia so it's a nice place to do uh, research about culture yeah and styles in this uh, padang trip okay in fact uh, in our university in our ukl itself you can enter to architecture program without any previous art courses or drawing classes and software classes and that's mean it's expected you know nothing it's expected you don't know to make a model and you don't know how to draw and sketch and it's expected you don't know how to design and the key thing here is that this mean you are expected to learn this stuff along the way through your university diploma or degree so you don't need any previous knowledge to study architecture but saying that having this knowledge is going to be your advantage it's like going to you know um baking or cooking class then you already know how to cook or going to chinese class when you speak chinese fluently so you know that's only benefit you in being good in that stuff already so you don't have to be a good drawer but of course if you are good in drawing this is only can help you to convey your drawing better and express your design better architectural uh, sketches are all about communicating ideas whether it is solving initial design problems or working through ideas and details. It helps to convey ideas, demonstrate functionality, visualize a user flow and illustrate anything that requires interactions. And uh, it's also a part of um, in the professions of architecture, drawing is essential to process of design from diagrammatical to highly technical Hand drawing brings value to every architectural project by allowing us to quickly explore idea and convey intent. Okay, guys, and the main thing, yeah, and the main thing I want to tell you here is, uh, you don't need to be a good drawing to study architecture, but you need to be willing to put in the work to learn. Drawing is the skill that's going to benefit you, no matter what, as long as you got the mindset that came to learn and willing to learn the skills of drawing, yeah, soft skills, managing skills, and you're going to be fine in architecture school as long as you're willing to learn. That's all matters. Yeah. So I truly, generally do you wish all of you with the best career of architecture. And I hope you get started in architecture because, yeah, because it's such a great path to go down and it is the most rewarding thing you can do. Okay, guys. Until next time, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and thank you. Bye-bye.